Let's talk about castor oil. My mind has been blown. Seriously, this stuff is magical. Y'all, every night when I slather this oil on my face, I also slather it right here on my neck and on the back of my neck. Y'all, my neck has gotten, again, just like other parts, like on my face, lighter and brighter. Those little lines that I have, they're not as deep and it's just more plump. Like those lines aren't as deep and noticeable. My skin on my neck feels so soft and it just looks so much better. Again, it looks younger. Castor oil penetrates very deep and it penetrates deeper than any other oil. Today, with the Dr. Barbara O'Neill, we'll explore the unexpected benefits of castor oil, especially after 30 days of use. If you've been wondering how this age-old remedy could affect your health, get ready for some eye-opening insights. Both research and personal experiences show that regular use of castor oil can bring about remarkable changes from enhancing skin texture and reducing inflammation to improving digestive health. In this video, Barbara O'Neill will break down the science behind these benefits, share real-life success stories, and give practical tips on how to include castor oil in your routine for the best results. Stay tuned as we discover the powerful potential of this natural oil. Let's talk about castor oil. My mind has been blown. Seriously, this stuff is magical. And I want to share with you exactly how I used it. As a woman, I, the first thing I want to talk about is as a skin moisturizer. Using castor oil as a skin moisturizer is the first thing that I did. And it was the first thing that I saw instant results with, instant. Literally the next day and wow, I looked in the mirror and my under eyes looked brilliant. And I really suffer with this eye particularly has quite a bad bag. I'm prone to dark under eyes and puffiness. Bar surgery, what else is there for the under eyes? And I don't want to put filler under the eyes. I have tried skin boosters, this stuff, has been working its magic thing. But for me, as a 54 year old woman with the signs of aging, I wanted to see what it did for my skin. I truly believe it has helped with the lines and wrinkles around my eyes, my forehead, and these pesky lines that make you look like you're downturned a little bit. Really, really fantastic. I have been using the castor oil around my eyes, and usually what I do is I'll get the bottle and I just pour it onto my fingers, two fingers like that, and then I rub them together or you know these two fingers so you're more gentle and then I just rub it around my whole eye like that. And I have noticed my skin improving around my eyes and I cannot believe it because I have bought the expensive eye creams that are like $200 and just in a couple, in a short period of time, I am already slowly seeing a change, which is crazy to me. And going into that, <laughs> the fourth thing that I noticed is my eyelashes are longer and thicker. Uh, that was probably actually what the eczema and my eyelashes were the first two things that I noticed. I was like, I have so many more eyelashes, like the smaller ones in the inner corner right here. Like when I'm putting my mascara on, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're longer and I have more where sometimes it would feel like I only had like three in the inner corner. Um, again, and this is in a short period of time. So that was another interesting thing that happened to me. And the next thing in the whole eye area that I've noticed as well is that my dark circles are lighter. So I don't have really bad dark circles, but I do get like really purple in here. And I usually always do a concealer very lightly because I do have aging eyes, but I notice that I need even less, which is something that has never changed in all of my grown life. I've kind of always had a really dark purpley blue, not huge problem, but just in the inner and down here. And I have noticed that it is shrinking or lighter. So this one, it, it's so weird because I, I really had to like think of everything happened kind of so gradually that I really had to think like what, what else and what 
am I doing different? Like notable changes. And another notable change that I noticed is that my skin is not as dry and itchy. So I don't know if this happens to you, but in the winter I get drier skin because you're inside with heat. And I usually have to put lotion on all the time because I just get really dry skin. And so now I usually just put the oil on at night and I have found I don't really need to reapply. Um, something I like to do in the mornings, just because I do usually do it, is put lotion on my arms, but I am like forgetting to do that because I don't even feel like I need it, which is also another odd thing. So I don't know if it's like moisturizing and staying or locking in moisture or what is going on but that was another interesting thing that has happened to me recently now i'd like to look at castor oil and castor oil is something that penetrates deep into the body i never advise taking castor oil by mouth because it can be quite irritating. So I'm going to show you how to make a pack. So here is, I think we're familiar with them, they're blueies. Oh, well, this is a greenie, <laughs> but it's an incontinence pad. So what we do is we get those and we cut them and we take off that top layer and we put several layers in there. One, two, three, four, five. I've got six layers of that old sheeting in there. You see, the thicker the compress, the more castor oil it can hold and the more castor oil it can go into your body. And what we do then is we take the edges. And the reason we do a, go to a bit of effort to do this, you can also stitch the, the corners because this is a compress, so it can be used again and again and again and again. And the beauty of it is, it has a plastic backing on it, and you want that plastic to protect your clothing. A castor oil compress is something that I apply to my hand every night. So you might notice I've still got a little bit of swelling in my hand. It's been only eight weeks since I broke this. The x-ray confirms that my bones are healed, but there's still a little bit of swelling there because it was quite a serious break. So I've brought you over my castor oil compress and I've used one of those sheets that the 15 year old's knee went through. And I have, I've actually got about 10 layers there. And I put that on my, on my hand like this. And I bandage it. I'm getting very good at this because I do it every night. So I quickly discovered my husband's not a nurse. <laughs> he does it in a bit of a hurry and doesn't do it quite right. And so there's my castor oil compress that I will sleep with. Uh, I sleep with it every night. So why am I putting a castor oil compress on this? Because that was quite uh, serious damage, my ulna was fractured, my um, radius was totally broken and out of place. Whenever you've got an injury, you've got the possibility of scar tissue building up. And so this is very good at stopping scar tissue developing. And many people have problems years later from an in, after an injury from scar tissue. So if someone maybe had um, a appendix taken out 10 years ago, sometimes they get more problems now because of scar tissue building up from that. So castor oil will break up any unnatural substance. So it'll break up a bone spur. It'll break up, um, it'll break up kidney stones. It'll break up gallstones. It will even help to break cataracts up. So you can put a drop of castor oil on your finger and wipe it over your eye, then do it to the other eye. Could you put it in your eye? Absolutely. It's just easier to wipe it over your eye though, because it's so sticky. So if you know what castor oil does, you start to know where to apply it. When I was in, uh, in I think it was Nebraska last year, a lady came to me and she, she was in her 70s. She said, my foot had this bunion on it and the bunion came out about half an inch. She said, I've been applying a castor oil compress to it every night for two months and it's gone. 
So that's good news. So any bony formations, bone spurs, very good at breaking up bone spurs. Obviously it's not going to do it overnight and it's not going to do it sometimes in a month. Depends how long it's been there, depends how big it is, depends how serious it is. Castor oil has been a popular remedy for many health issues for centuries. It's known for its ability to deeply penetrate the skin and tissues, making it effective for a variety of treatments. This oil contains ricinoleic acid, which helps reduce inflammation and pain. When using a castor oil compress, it's important to use cold pressed hexane free oil to retain its benefits. You can make a compress with wool or flannel soaked in castor oil. Place it on the affected area, cover it with plastic wrap to prevent staining and apply heat with a heating pad or hot water bottle to help the oil penetrate more deeply. And for the past 30 days, I have used castor oil in various ways and this happened. Number one, my lashes, you all, are thicker. They're fuller, they're more, uh, they have more luster, and I don't lose lashes like I used to lose lashes. Like, I'm that girl where an eyelash was constantly falling out and then getting in my eye, and then I'm trying to get it out of my eye. So, I lost a lot of lashes. Now, my eyelashes have always been pretty long and thick, but I mean, I have noticed a difference in my eyelashes. I don't have any, I'm getting a little close so you guys can see, I'm gonna turn to the side. I don't have any mascara on my lashes. I just wanted you guys to see them, so I didn't put any on. They are thicker, especially my bottom um, lashes. They're thicker, they appear to be longer. I looked it up and it says that castor oil does not grow your lashes, but honey, Maybe they do, maybe they don't. All I know is that my eyelashes look longer, they look fuller, they look thicker, more lush, uh, more luster, and they're softer. Usually when I would touch my eyelash, they would be kind of hard. They're very soft and they don't fall out as much, so that is a plus. My eyebrows. My eyebrows are for the most part pretty full and thick. They've always been that way, but I do have some areas where they're a little sparse right here at the front. I've noticed that they've been, been getting thicker and filling in. I actually had to go and get them threaded um, because it was getting so unruly. Like they were really coming in thick and soft and full. So in my experience, it has been making my eyebrows come in in areas where they have been, you know, kind of sparse, which is right up in here. So it is coming in for me, okay? I'm just sharing my results, honey. Research says what research says. I'm just gonna share with you what happened in my experience with castor oil. So what I did every single night for 30 days, I put castor oil all over my hands, rubbed it on my bellies, and I'm gonna show you my before and my after. The main focus is gonna be on my stretch marks. That was what I most visually wanted to improve because it's what bothers me the most, I guess. So here is my experiment. So this is my stomach. I have lost and gained weight so many times. I've had three pregnancies, including an 11 pound baby. This skin has been stretched. It's wrinkly, it's stretch marky. And when I, um, when I flex, it is even worse. So I'm gonna have castor oil on here for 30 days and we're gonna see the difference. I'm really hoping it makes an improvement. I'm excited for this experiment and I'm excited to share with you the results. The cool thing is I have to wait 30 days, but in a video, you don't have to wait any time at all. Okay, here I am 30 days later. I have been putting castor oil all over my stomach before bed every night for 30 days. Is there a difference? I'm wearing the same outfit. Let me show you. I definitely think there is a difference. Yes, when I flex, still get it there. I definitely still have stretch marks. They're not gonna go away. We know that. They're not gonna disappear. Does it look better? I think so. Castor oil is also great for digestion. Applying it externally on your abdomen can ease constipation and support liver function, making it an effective remedy for slow digestion and detoxification. In hair care, castor oil strengthens hair follicles, stimulates growth, and enhances scalp health. Regular scalp massages with castor oil can reduce dandruff and improve hair texture. For optimal results, leave the oil on for several hours or overnight before washing it out. 
The benefits you're experiencing from castor oil are linked to how it interacts with your skin. Rich in ricinoleic acid, castor oil has anti-inflammatory properties that help calm inflammation caused by eczema, reducing symptoms like redness and itching. Its soothing and healing qualities may explain the improvement in your eczema. For melasma, castor oil's moisturizing properties play a key role. While it doesn't directly lighten dark spots, well-hydrated skin tends to appear healthier and more even, which could be why your dark spots seem to be fading. As for aging skin, the fatty acids in castor oil deeply nourish and hydrate, helping to plump the skin and soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. By keeping the skin moisturized, castor oil supports elasticity and firmness, leading to noticeable improvements over time. I hope you found this deep dive into the benefits of castor oil after 30 days as intriguing as I did. If you've tried castor oil or have any questions, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.